what's up guys blender here and last time we um kind of went over how to add this uh kind of sweet little thing right here this animation with our hud um oh uh, it doesn't want to play the sound uh here let, let's fix that let's go into hud click on a gun and see this is what i don't like um Sometimes I there might be I don't know why but it always wants to not work like the sound doesn't really want to work sometimes so I have to reload it so here yeah that's nice um I am if that sounded weird I'm not too sure if that's gonna sound weird because I'm recording on my TV right now I have my laptop hooked up to my TV so if you didn't hear that gunshot. Um, don't worry about it, but yeah, um, I deleted the landscape because first of all, it was kind of annoying me. Um, I didn't really like it that much, but um, we can make a better one. But uh, like I promised, today I'm going to be showing you how to add um, reloading uh, and um, how to add like a ammo thing right here. So let's go into our HUD and select your camera, Shift S cursor T selected the spacebar search let's start add text okay so I'm going to R X 90 R Z 9 negative 90 and I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to go you don't have to do this but I just like it better when that when it's in justified in the center or aligned in the center. I'm gonna move it in, and I'm going to scale it down. And actually, um, we're going to have to turn this backwards to so RZ 180. Gotta have it like that. Let's go back into our HUD. Let's put it like. Let's see, where do we want our ammo to be? We could. Like right there, um, maybe right there. And yeah, I think that's good. Um, so let's just leave it like that, okay? And then click on it, go to always, Python, and connect these two. And then let's go into our gun, and let's add a ammo property so and let's just put it up there okay so debug properties okay okay so our text looks a little wonky um might have to We're gonna have to bring it out like over here. Keep moving it over like that. I'm gonna put my ammo in my bottom left corner, cause like if it's if it's too close to the camera, um, the text will look kind of weird. So let's do that, okay? And then let's add a text property. No, let's not do that. Sorry. Remove that. Okay, so go to templates, Python, game logic simple, and let's call this like ammo HUD dot py for Python. Put it in here and select these three dots right here. Okay? No, so it's in that script. So let's delete this portion that I've highlighted right here. And then let's say, let's say, um, first let's define the scene that we're in. So right now we're in the HUD scene. So let's say scene is equal to BGE dot logic dot get current 
seen. Make sure you spell seen right. Okay. So then let's say handgun is equal to seen dot objects and this is hand gun. Make sure that this is spelled the same way as your handgun. Okay? So now let's say own dot text is um equal to one second guys. Sorry, I gotta do something. Hey guys, I just had to see something. Okay. So we're gonna say own dot text is equal to um string and I'll actually show you a sample of what it's gonna look like. Um so I have it right here. Oh, I, okay, so it doesn't want to show up in this one, but let's go back to ours. Okay, so it's going to be equal to string. And then we're going to go into handgun. So if you follow on the other Python tutorials, the other Python tutorials I was making, you'll know why we have to put the str here because we're converting a variable into letters. So handgun, and then, um, what do we call it, Am ammo? So, let's see, we must have a problem. Let's look into our window. It says handgun is not defined because we spelled handgun wrong. There we go. So you'll see it says 0, 0.0. That's because we need to change ammo from a float to an integer. Now if we press P, it says 0. So let's just um, call that 100. Let's just, right there, say we have 100 ammo. Now let's go into our handgun.py. And is your hand is our handgun even uh no it's not. Where did we put our handgun.py? I wonder. Well anyways. Um let's make a new Python script and so templates Python where is it? Template Uh, actually, let's go into ammo hud, and um, inside of our text, let's make a add a, in a sensor, and add a mouse sensor, and connect that right there, and then left button tap, and let's just call this one shoot. Sure you spell shoot right. And let's say shoot is equal to cont dot sensors shoot. No, not that. Okay. So let's just say if shoot dot positive colon enter then handgun ammo is going to minus equal one. So now let's play. And you'll see that every time we shoot, it goes down. So um, we could put that into our handgun. We actually should and not put it in our text. So let's just copy that right there and um, we're going to make templates Python game logic simple delete this right here and then go into our handgun and actually go back into your text and delete this shoot right here so go into your handgun and add an OE sensor and add a Python sensor and then let's rename this to 
shoot.py. Okay. And let's say uh, select those three dots. And let's add a mouse sensor too. Call this one shoot. Exactly what we did with the um, connected to Python. Exactly what we did with the um, text, but we don't want it in the text. And then call this tap. Okay. And then plug in the script right there. And copy and paste that. And instead of handgun right there, say own. And then we need to redefine shoot. So shoot is equal to current dot sensors shoot. Okay. Hmm. Now there's a problem in our text. In our ammo. Oh, it's right here. Let's just delete that because we can't use it anymore. Okay, so you'll see that that worked. And the reason why I wanted to put it in our handgun instead is because if we go into shoot, now we can add something like we can say uh what can we say well um let's actually go back into our game and select this thing right here that was shooting our ray and we're going to have it equal we're going to have this thing equal ammo too we're going to have don't delete it from the gun but put it inside of our crosshairs too, the one that we're not seeing inside the game. So not the one in our HUD. And make that an integer. And we're gonna have it the same as our gun. And then we're gonna say in our um what's this called? Handgun.py. We're going to also say if ammo if own ammo is greater than zero colon and then we're gonna highlight all of this press tab okay and then so if shoot dot positive we're also going to say own ammo so right underneath shoot shoot button dot positive minus equal one Okay. Okay, so I'm going to actually change this to 10. Go into our HUD. Change the one in our gun to 10 also. Okay, there we go. So let's go back into. No game logic. Let's go back into game. Hmm. Looks like we have a Oh, yep. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to go into that. We don't have any errors, but I know what's happening. Let's go back into our HUD. We also have to go into our shoot.positive that we have in our gun or shoot.py we also have to say if ammo own ammo is greater than zero colon and then highlight this stuff right here tab so now it's not going to take one away but it's still going to do the animation so now we have to go into um, uh, into our aiming.py. Okay, so aiming.py, and we have to take all of this, move it over. So tab one, and then say if own. 
ammo is greater than zero. Now we have an error because this ammo does not exist. Oh, it's because the Python script is in the empty. Okay, so there's a way to get around that. Yes. We also have to put an ammo in the empty. Okay. And then if but if button not positive then own ammo is going to minus equal one and if and if the shoot button dot positive on ammo is minus going to minus equal one okay but yet we still have a problem Okay, so they have to be right next to each other. Sorry about that. Hmm. I don't know what just happened. Sorry. We have to say we have to say that again, so own, or I do anyways, mo minus equal one. Copy that, paste it. Okay, so for some reason, it is working. But it doesn't want to. Okay, so I am going to uh, see what's happening. Um, oh wait, hold on. We don't need to do that here because this is only for aiming and we can still aim even if we're out of ammo. Sorry guys. It should still, for some reason, it um, doesn't want to, it, it's not doing the animation. And I don't know why, trust me. If I knew why, I would say it. Okay, so the action right here is tied into the aiming. Oh, crap. I deleted the wrong one. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm going to stop the video while I figure out what's happening. Hey guys, I know what happened. Um, this is underneath an if statement, so it has to go. These things have to go forward. Like that. There we go. Okay, so that still works. So, what we need to do is we need to add a property sensor right here. So
So if property is greater than um uh what what are we putting this in? Sorry, we should be putting this in handgun. So handgun I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Handgun property. If ammo is greater than zero, so uh, we're going to put this into our th this and right here and into our aiming script. And we're going to say, oh, sorry. We're going to say, if own ammo, I don't even think we need to add this property right here, actually. All we need to say is, if own ammo greater than zero colon and then put this cont right here where it needs to be okay so that's a problem it says ammo does not exist but it does because it's right here and it's gonna say it doesn't exist because okay so let's get rid of this right here let's actually no let's not get rid of it let's copy it delete it and then let's this shoot action let's um, delete it and then put it back into our handgun and bring it down and then put it at, put it at the top okay so then say play um, which one was it was it handgun action point three I think um, zero to was there a three in there I think okay and then tie it into this this shoot.py then go into your shoot.py and add it so now it's still not going to work because it says shoot button's not fine and that's because we need to go into our shoot button And um, we need to change this from shoot button, change this to shoot, because that's what it's called right here. And there's still a problem, because we need to rename this to shoot action. I have a problem with not looking at the code before I try to um, do it. This says shoot action doesn't exist, but it's right here. Oh, do we need to define it? Oh yeah, we need to define it. So cont dot uh, no shoot action action is equal to cont dot sensors. Shoot action. And sensor shoot action. Shoot action. Still says shoot action doesn't exist. What are we in? What are we in? What Python script is this in? It's in shoot.py. Okay. So right here. And the reason why is because we need to change this from sensors to actuators. Okay, I'm gonna go over this. Everything looks right. It really should work. It should, and it is. And then you'll see that it stops doing that. 
then let's see what our problem is and why we're not allowed to aim. Okay, so now let's go back into our aiming and get rid of this shoot action. And then the sound right here where it says where we put our sound in into our handgun. We need to add a property in our gun. So property we have to say if greater than zero if ammo is greater than zero then we can allow this sound. So connect it to our sound. Okay. What just happened? Okay, I'm not telling you to play the sound. Wait. Oh. Okay, so we're telling this to play if shoot button, and we also, so, <clears throat> We have to add something into so let's re put that property in to our gun and tap uh, put tap on property greater than ammo zero. Okay, so this is where I made my mistake. I have to put it in to our where our shoot button is connected to the sound. That's where we need to put it. And now it's not working at all because Because of a reason. Okay, so it's not working. I said if the prop property is greater than zero, let's not put tap there. Okay, so don't select tap. So now you'll see that now when we get to zero, nothing will happen okay I'm sorry if this was a long and confusing tutorial for you um, yeah but it was it, it it's worth it to make this possible and let's just see if that works in the game so let's press P to play and let's see if we can hurt him now nope his health is not going down that is good so um, I'm going to make maybe only a couple more tutorials for for this stuff. Um, I think the only things that I'm going to put in is the enemy health bar right here. I'm going to ma probably make an enemy health bar. Um, uh, our, s our health bar. And then uh, how to use a navigation mesh. Okay. So this is the last three things I'm going to do. I'm going to cover the our own health bar and our enemy health bar in the next tutorial. And I guess I will see you in the next episode. If you have any questions, hello, and I will help you. I know this was confusing and long, but um, yeah, see you in the next tutorial.